In an unexpected turn of events, the FIA dropped an explosive bombshell that sent shockwaves through the racing world. After Aston Martin filed a protest, the FIA handed down 12 penalties to eight drivers following an investigation into additional track limit violations. This led to a change in the final race classification. What was the deal with track limits at the Red Bull ring, and how were they enforced? How will this revelation impact the championship? And most importantly, what does it mean for your favorite drivers? Now that the track's contract has been extended until 2030, to understand how this rule is affecting the entire sport, we must first look at the Article 33.3 of Sporting Regulations, which states that, Drivers must make every reasonable effort to use the track at all times and may not leave the track without a justifiable reason. Drivers will be judged to have left the track and no part of the car remains in contact with it. And for the avoidance of doubt, any white lines defining the track edges are considered to be part of the track, but the curbs are not. If a car leaves the track, the driver may rejoin. However, this may be done only when it is safe to do so and without gaining any long-term advantage. A driver may be given the opportunity to give back the entirety of any advantage gained by leaving the track at the sole discretion of the race director. Obviously, drivers will try to use as much as the track as possible. However, because the divider is a smooth white painted line, it is very easy to go over track limits. The location of the transgression has an impact as well. The violation is dealt with differently in each session. Lap time is deleted during the practice session. No matter how many times a driver engages in it during the session, it simply is not counted, but they will not receive a penalty. The lap time will also be deleted during qualifying, putting extra pressure on drivers to get their qualifying laps right. A deletion can result in your best lap time not counting, resulting in failure to advance to the next session or a lower grid starting position, depending on the timing of the deletion. Another issue is the location of the transgression. Excessive track limits are simply deleted at most every corner on the track. However, if you do it at the final cording leading into the pit straight, the subsequent lap time will be deleted as well. This prevents drivers from taking advantage of the momentum created by going over track limits to win the next lap. Drivers are only permitted two track limit violations without incident during a Grand Prix. Of course, drivers cannot simply break the limits to make an overtaking move or gain position. This would fall under the rule of gaining a lasting advantage by leaving the track, but they will not be penalized for simply running out beyond the white lines on these two occasions. However, after the third violation, the driver will be shown a black and white flag. This serves as a warning to them that they can no longer turn the wheel the wrong way. Doing so will result in a penalty. If a driver exceeds the speed limit a fourth time, they will face a five second time penalty. Let me tell you in a simple way. The first two times a driver violates track limits, race control issues a warning. If the car does this three times during the race, it receives a black and white flag as a warning, and the next breach is penalized with a five second penalty on the driver's name. Further violations will result in additional time penalties. For example, Yuki Tsunoda of Alpha Tauri was given a 10 second forfeit for seven violations in the July 2nd race. The FIA is operating a virtual race control room in Geneva, Switzerland since the beginning of 2022, from which race officials at the track receive additional support. It is similar to the replay review systems used in the MLB and NHL, as well as the virtual assistance referee VAR system in soccer. Those in the virtual race control room have access to more camera angles than those seen on television, allowing them to more accurately police whether or not a driver has crossed the white line. More people watching the track limits means breaches can be handled more efficiently and precisely. However, some Red Bull ring corners are lined with gravel traps. Others have large asphalt runoff areas that save a driver's blushes if they make a mistake. In order to prevent a driver from rejoining the race right away and possibly gaining an advantage, some of those asphalt runoffs, like the ones at Turn 1, have a long, high yellow bump known in Formula 1 as a sausage curb on the exit. However, at Turn 10, a driver can run widely and potentially gain an advantage. Unfortunately, it is not as simple as installing a sausage curb or simply adding another gravel track in this location. Otherwise, one of those solutions or an alternative would have been installed. It's difficult to believe that the car would only go outside the track limits three times in 71 laps. For example, 
The car passes through those two corners 142 times during the race, and 139 of those times must be precise and within the white lines. Which is not possible, right? Not every driver has been penalized with a 5 second or even a 30 second penalty after the race, but not every driver has the same car, and as Hamilton stated, it wasn't up to him to control the car due to the setup that the team made. He elaborated, I think they probably need to find a new solution for this track. I mean, years ago, when we didn't have the track limit thing, the track was much more enjoyable to drive. But it is strange to be driving and almost have to comment on the car ahead as that's what the team asks you to do. I think I did it in Austria a few years ago, and that's not racing, right? Let me tell you, this happened before with the Aston Martin protest, which resulted in Hamilton receiving a 10 second penalty and Ocon receiving a 30 second penalty for his infringements. Alfa Romeo's Valtteri Baltas also stated, I think in qualifying I had one lap deleted, but when you're pushing the limit, it's not easy to see if you're really on the line or not from the car. I believe there must be a hard limit, whether it's some more slippery surface such as AstroTurf, a strip of gravel, or something. The FIA states in order to address the issue for future events at the track, they will renew their recommendations to the circuit to add a gravel trap at the exit of turns 9 and 10. They added that this is not a straightforward solution in relation to other series that race here. It has proven to be very efficient at other corners and circuits with similar issues. However, this is possible in most cases. The FIA has recorded over 1,200 violations in this matter, raising the question, is every driver out there incapable of keeping their car within the white lines? Obviously, some drivers avoid penalties, but that is not enough, and the F1 world believes that changes to the Red Bull ring are required. With the new generation of cars, racing is currently ruined because drivers must give up lap time in order to respect track limits. According to Wolf, there are two solutions to the current problems with the Austrian GP. Everybody really is in the worst possible situation, with the regulations on the racetrack and the FIA trying to enforce them to the best of their ability. There are cameras and centers, and they spent some time looking at it, and we did the same back at base. Looking at all of the onboards just to make sure that we weren't penalized versus all the other teams. But for the fans, teams, and drivers, it's super frustrating to keep those penalties coming. So there's only two solutions. You can either come back to Sausage curbs and break the drivers in the cars, or just remove track limits overall and let them race the fastest line. Furthermore, Wolf said that it is in the greatest interest of the sport to find the solution for the track because it is one that brings a lot of excitement and a lot of competitive racing every time. Overall, we can only wait to see how the governing body handles this situation. And personally, I don't believe it'll be ready to exit the negative spotlight by 2023. However, the drivers and team owners will not remain silent. What do you guys think? We want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the FIA's explosive revelation and how you think it will shape the future of F1. Remember to like this video and share it with your fellow racing enthusiasts.